Hey everyone, it's Min with Just For You Crafting and today I am super excited to be bringing you a video tutorial which has been inspired by the uh, ever so popular Minecraft video game. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a personalized card as well as a personalized nameplace card. Um, the card I made for my nephew, uh, the nameplace setting um, I made for my co-worker's uh, son um, who is having a Minecraft themed birthday party. So all of uh, his friends um, at the party will be receiving a, a Minecraft card and this um, personalized nameplace setting. And I attached a little party favor for all the kids to take home. It's a uh, creeper um, keychain that I made out of perler beads, uh, which I thought was very fun to do. Um, but uh, let's get started. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to actually make uh, the card. Um, I'm starting off with a piece of standard size black cardstock, measures 8.5 by 11. If you cut it down the middle, you can get two card bases out of one uh, single piece of cardstock. I'm scoring it right down the middle at five and a half, uh, and I'm using my stamping up paper trimmer, uh, which also has a score tool uh, built in. Um, now for the three pieces for the uh, Minecraft card, uh, I'm using a black, green, and gray piece. The black measures two by two, the green measures two by three, and the gray measures three and a half by four. Uh, for a full list, of measurements as well as a list of all the materials that I use definitely check out my blog um, I'll leave a link um, in the description below uh, so that you can um, have all of that info handy for you um, so I just lined up the cardstock and I'm just going to show you the gray piece and you're going to follow this technique for the black and green piece um, I made the score marks every quarter inch um, and with the Stampin' Up uh, scoring board here it does give you this awesome tool uh, to give you those even uh, score marks uh, you just follow the um, quarter inch mark on the built-in ruler up top once you've uh, completed all the score, score marks in one direction you'll just turn the card 45 degrees and then run another set of score marks again a quarter of an inch apart and by doing that it'll create the perfect um, square square blocks um, on the uh, black green and gray uh, car stock uh, which adds to that minecraft you know square block uh, pixelized look for the card um, super easy to do and it just goes a long way to add that um, extra touch of detail um, to color in the cards to give it that pixelized look, um, I am using my Spectrum Noir blending markers. Um, I love these because they come in a set of six and they come in the different shades of the uh, colors. So for the green, uh, I'm using the Spectrum Noir green set and it comes in um, six different shades of green. I love these markers because they're so versatile um, and they blend very, very well. They're very comparable to the um, Copic markers, but uh, the uh, Spectrum Noirs are just so much more inexpensive for a set of six. They're 15 bucks. Uh, and for one Copic marker, it's six bucks. And I think they blend uh, just as well. Um, I've tried them out. Uh, both, but I just can't get over how much uh, the Copic markers are compared to the Spectrum Noirs. Um, another thing to add with the Spectrum Noirs, um, I showed it a little bit earlier, but uh, it's um, uh, it has a tip on both ends. Uh, one end has a um, larger fatter nib, and the um, end that I use to color in the blocks is a much more uh, finer point um, for the uh, closer detailing. Uh, but I just love the markers. I probably have at least like six or seven sets. Um, but for this card, I only use the green set and the uh, gray tone set. Um, to add the white um, pixeled blocks, I just used a basic white gel pen. Um, so here 
I'm cutting out the eyes and the mouth. Uh, the eyes are um, two by two square blocks. And uh, you're going to have a ton of scraps left over, which is OK, because if you're going to make multiple cards, um, you'll have um, blocks already pre-cut uh, from the scraps uh, that you don't use here. Uh, for the mouth, it's two blocks in uh, and two blocks up um, for top and bottom. So as you can see, that's what the uh, mouth of the creeper looks like um, you can see the uh, square blocked uh, pixelized detail um, which I think is great and um, when you run your fingers um, over that card uh, it just gives it that, that added texture too um, I've seen other minecraft cards where um, they don't take the time to um, you know score it or um, they don't have the individual um, blocks on there i i um just think like this separates um from the other you know uh, minecraft uh, themed cards that uh, don't have the uh, pixelized block look um when i colored in the green creeper face there's no rhyme or reason to uh which squares i colored and what colors go in go in which block uh, i think the more random you are uh it just adds to that pixelized look um, which is why the Spectrum Noir markers are great because it gives you the three different shades of green in a set. So I just uh, used the darkest, uh, a medium shade, and then the lightest green. Um, then I filled in the um, gaps with the white gel pen um, to offer that uh, pixelized look. Um, when I placed the eyes and the mouth I am using these mini uh, square adhesives um, that uh, gives it a uh, 3D um, dimension to it and it helps secure it to the uh, card base as well. Um, I use these rather liberally uh, with all of my cards. Uh, one, because I think it looks cool when you, when you give it that added depth uh, and they're very inexpensive. So I can go as liberal as I want. They usually come in little sheets of like 50 to 100. So, um, and I think they're like a couple bucks each. So I don't really stress out about uh, trying to hold on to these for a very long time. Um, so when you place them on the card, it gives it that raised, you know, 3D look. Um, and it just secures that card a little bit uh, better than just um, using adhesive tape to it um, which again just adds to that extra dimension and detail uh, so before you know it um, you're more than halfway completed this card um, as you can see it's super easy uh, easy to make uh, I probably well I made 12 cards and 12 name place cards and uh, um, once you get that you know production line thing um, ready and you're making multiple uh, cuts at the same time and you get that assembly line going um, I probably made the 12 in less than an hour I think um, this is the uh, last part of the card um, what the minecrafter or what the minecraft creeper does is is that it blows things up so with the gray card stock here um, again no more Rhyme and reason is very random. I just cut out different notches to try to have it resemble a um, Minecraft block being blown up by the creeper. Um, and I just took my Spectrum Noir gray tones and just randomly colored them in using the dark, medium, and light, and filled in the uh, filled in the other spaces with my white gel pen. Um, and it resembles that uh, uh, Minecraft block being blown up. Uh, which is why I used the uh, card sentiment of boom. Uh, and I thought it was kind of cool that my nephew picked up um, on it right away. Uh, he noticed that it was a uh, creeper. And uh, when he saw the uh, boom on the bottom of the card, um, it made me feel good because uh, it uh, shows that I'm still in touch, I guess, uh, <laughs> with the kids in their video games. Um, when you are placing this card or placing the pieces on the 
uh, card front. You just want to make sure that you have enough room to um, stamp your sentiment. Uh, what I'm using here is uh, a alphabet stamp set by Lawn Fawn. It's called Quinn's ABCs, uh, which I love. Um, I use this stamp set very often when I'm making personalized cards or labels, uh, putting somebody's name. I love this stamp set because the letters are attached to these uh, square blocks, which gives it a uh, perfect opportunity for spacing. Uh, so I grabbed a random X and I put it next to the O um, simply because there's only one O in the set and it leaves room uh, for me to go back and stamp the second O separately and have it spaced perfectly. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to heat emboss using um, embossing powder. I have a uh, Versamark ink pad here. It's a, a very stink, uh, sticky uh, pad, which is going to allow the embossing powder to adhere to. Uh, but before I do any embossing um, stamping, I use my embossing buddy, which is um, almost like a chalk bag, but it um, gets rid of any unnecessary static. Uh, so that the um, embossing powder doesn't stick to the card. It only sticks to what's being stamped uh, with the uh, Versamark, Versamark ink. Um, as you can see there, it gives a, a very clean stamp image there. And with the second O missing, I just uh, take it and put it on my uh, smaller stamping block and go right in and uh, stamp that second O. Uh, without having to worry about spacing because of um, how the stamp set comes um, on those little square blocks. And uh, just using basic white embossing powder. Um, I keep mine um, stored in a old Chinese uh, takeout uh, food container. Uh, and that's where I put all my you know surplus uh, powder, put my card over it, and I just sprinkle on the uh, embossing powder and turn it over and I give it a little flick on the back just to get rid of any excess um, powder. And as you can see, it's a clear um, embossed image. Um, if I didn't use that embossing buddy, um, random patches of that powder would have been all over the bottom of the card. Uh, to set the embossing powder, I used my um, heat tool. And what it does is that it melts the embossing powder and once it is set, uh, you'll have a clean, raised, um, embossed image, uh, which again, just adds to the detail of the card. It's an extra technique um, that that is um, very popular in card making. I use it all the time on um, all of my different uh, stamps and cards. And that's as easy as it gets uh, to make this card. Um, the pixelized look uh, when you're coloring it with, with the different uh, green and gray tones um, offers that video game look. Uh, and by using the same techniques, the scoring techniques and the coloring techniques um, with the embossing technique, you'll be able to make this card in no time or this name place card in no time because um, it uses the same um, it uses the same techniques the only thing that I did add was that uh, little uh, party favor uh, that the kids will be able to take home and um, I used that out of uh, perler beads added a keychain on there um, I also made some other minecraft inspired um, perler bead projects that's a little TNT uh, Perler bead uh, keychain that I'm going to attach to the other card. Each kid uh, will receive a um, uh, separate uh, personalized Minecraft um, keychain. Uh, there's a whole bunch of like different weapons on there that I also uh, put on each of the um, name place cards. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please remember to leave a like and a comment. Um, again, for a list of um, all the materials that I used as well as measurements, definitely check out my blog just for you craftingblogspot.com. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this and I hope you guys do too. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.